It's burning. What's burning? Life is burning. What? Oh shit. Honestly, I don't want to do this show anymore. I need you guys to send help because this is dumb. Now you're not mad about not having a fridge full of chocolate, are you, Marty we, Harper? We would have had a couple. Is this one? Yeah. <laughs> I need your help here. It's moving the oven up. Maybe I can figure it out. I'm not sure. But yeah, baby, can you help me? Yeah. It's the bread thing you do with this oven. Oh, well, the whole thing? Yeah, and then you see, you see the good. edge here? Here, <laughs> current situation. Dad came to fix the stove. We will be making a few things today. On today's episode of the Kelly Dale and Marty Hopper show, we're going to be taking you through a couple of different tips and tricks on how to make a very beautiful and simple, healthy treat. Kelly, what are we making? We are making a frozen banana chocolate nut butter treat. So basically, they're bars that are filled with goodness. They taste amazing, and they're definitely the cheat treat, but more of a treat for the day that you just want to cheat for your treats. Okay then, we're the tie-dye crew. Did we get in a memo? Is there a memo that went out? You guys, swipe up for the tie-dye. Kelly's gonna sell this on her website. Okay. Uh, what? Alrighty, step one. You're gonna need bananas. You're gonna need your choice of nut. We have chosen a delicious hazelnut. You could also do an almond. Uh, I mean, you could also do like seeds. You can do like sunflower seeds. You can do sprouted almonds. You can do cashews, uh, anything that kind of... Basically any nut. Any nut. Any nut. But the hazelnuts make it taste like Nutella. So step one is bananas. Please make sure you get the organic bananas. We always, always try to push for organic. If you can't do organic, Go with what you know. I want to say six bananas in total. Six um, bananas? I mean, you know That's bananas. That is bananas. <laughs> okay, well, we are going to take a moment to clean up the kitchen and we will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the steps. We are going to mash banana and make a layer in here. Put that in the freezer for a few minutes. Then we're going to put melted chocolate on the banana. Then we're going to Put that in the freezer for a minute, and then we're gonna put peanut butter, and then we're gonna put another layer of melted chocolate, and then we've got crusted nuts on top of that. And it goes in the freezer. Then we can play tennis tonight. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for a quick. Wait, just let, let us get more views here if you show your naked body. Like, just show us your naked body. Let me sell your body, baby. Oh, no, I'll put these out. I melt chocolate all the time. Guys, this show is gonna get canceled. <laughs> so there's a few things that you guys want to do. You guys want to find really high quality chocolate. Uh, this is Santosha, which I really like, and this is coconut and Himalayan pink salt. You're gonna be putting it into a saucepan. That is what we're doing here, and we're melting this. This is gonna be a very key step to creating layers and creating coagulation so that you have bars. Oh. <laughs> On this step of the bananas, you're gonna be taking the bananas. I don't know if you can actually see this, but you're going to be mashing them. Um, don't mind the homies in the back trying to pull this look together. We're gonna to be using a touch of cinnamon And in it's this. got to be the Vietnamese cinnamon, yeah. not the Ceylon cinnamon. It doesn't taste good. Okay, well this is the Vietnamese cinnamon. Uh, we're doing a touch of that. Make sure that when you're working, you're cleaning up as well. That's why Marty's here. Honestly, <laughs> I can't even tell you what's going on. Where's the real sea salt? Oh, it's, uh, is it outside? No, we brought it inside. It's right, right here. There. See, this is why I'm here because the organization of this kitchen does not happen when I'm not here. <laughs> In order to fill this pan here, and what we've done is we've lined it with parchment paper. Uh, we don't want to make it too thin because if we do that, it's going to become runny. Um, and we want to add the bananas, and again, you're just mashing. Uh, you're going to create a little bit of texture, you're going to create a little bit of depth. You don't want it to get too liquidy because I feel like that's not, you're not going to be able to like get any 
of the bar feeling out of it. So we're gonna put the banana in here, we're gonna clean this up a little bit. And you're gonna take this and you're gonna just put a little bit in here. You're basically putting this in and you're creating a very, very smooth kind of crust, but it's like a banana crust. It's not really crust, it's a crust. Get that in the refrigerator. Shit, Georgia took a huge shit over there. Yeah, right. You see it? <laughs> salt. She loves salt. The chocolate is melted. The nuts are almost roasted. So just so you guys get an eye of like what's going on. The chocolate is melting in here. The banana really is going in the freezer. Really, really beautiful. We're just getting this nice emulsified so that this can actually go on very smoothly. You don't want to make this too high of heat because you want to keep the properties of your chocolate. You want to make sure that like all the natural ingredients aren't really getting totally burnt out. So you just want a, a nice little warmth and just keep rotating and moving, rotating and moving, moving, rotating and moving. Uh, and you're getting it to this really, really beautiful uh, nice emulsified kind of texture. The consistency is very liquidy. This chocolate had a touch of coconut in it. It had some sea salt as well, which was really important for this because we need to balance out all the sweet. Again, clean up after yourselves. I can't remind you enough. Sometimes we tend to forget the banana is semi-frozen. It will take a moment to freeze, but we're going to do one layer of chocolate. So I'm gonna hold the parchment. Usually you would do this in a wider pan, but we decided that this was gonna be nice bars. And so all you really wanna do is you wanna create a thin layer because the thin layer is going to help you. And I move it around so like it kind of creates a little bit of this like sealant for the banana because you have to realize it's basically like a chocolate banana. This goes back into the freezer. Into the freezer it goes. So Kelly's been checking on the hazelnuts and we're just kind of waiting for the first part of this recipe to be done in the freezer. Uh, it's just the base. It was 10 minutes of the banana and the chocolate together so that they coagulate and create like a bar. And then the hazelnuts are in the oven. The hazelnuts can go like oil, you can do salt, you can do like honey. honey, you could do whatever you want to do, but you pick your poison, you pick your, uh, how you want it, what it's all about. Um, and we just kind of wait and we talk about some of our top things that we like in the kitchen. What are your favorites? Right now it's a green juice mm -hmm. for a drink. It's also, you mean favorite things to make? Yep. Uh, then we also have a delicious coconut curry Thai soup. I think we're gonna make that this week. Oh, we are, yeah. Oh. And guess what time it is? Hey! Hey, it's time to get the base out of the freezer. Step one, and then that was 10 minutes on the clock. Let's get into this show. Dude, it's a full chocolate base. Put that chocolate in my base. This is banana and chocolate all in one. It's a full show. Next up is beautiful, beautiful peanut butter. This peanut butter Kelly just put me on, it's called North Shore Goodies. It is a coconut peanut butter, and we're gonna be putting a third layer together, which is the peanut butter, and Kelly's doing it with this cheese uh, spatula. It's like basically it like a che frame. cheese cutter. That's I would I would never I would together. never actually use the spatula slash I don't really get it, but you know what we're gonna it do. It works fabulously. Perfect. Oh. Oh. You guys, I can't even tell you. It's wow, this looks really good. I can't even tell you guys how excited I am. Here, let me just hold this. We're going to make it very even. And you're basically just creating a base that so another layer of chocolate can go in there. And you don't want it, again, like I always say, like don't want this to be too thick because the thicker it becomes, the more time you're gonna have to spend with it in the oven or in the, the, the freezer. You wanna make it, very, very smooth, like very, very 
thin, but also like kind of like a quarter of a quarter of an inch thick. So Kelly was uh, trying to film a segment where she was going to show you a really quick version of how we're creating this banana chocolate peanut butter bar. Grab yeah. a banana. Yeah, let's grab a banana and let's get through this really quickly so that all of the children can understand exactly how Kelly does this in zero time. We've allotted 20 minutes for our previous recipe and Kelly's giving you a five minute jam sesh. Okay, so you're gonna wanna make your bananas into pieces like this. Then you take your peanut butter. You put a little piece of peanut butter up there. Another banana goes on top. Take your little Thingy? Too thick. <laughs> Sorry, like English is not our first language, so sometimes I'm here to translate like Nicole Kidman and the translator. Was that the movie? What was the name of that movie? Look at that. And then you dip that in your chocolate and then in the freezer it goes. There we go. Alrighty. So this is how Kelly has formulated the go-to fast track version. So that's how it goes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a very small plate or bowl. We're gonna put this into a small bowl. This is it, bowl. That's that, we're gonna do that. One and done. And this goes into the freezer. And I would say this will go in for 10 minutes. We are still on the clock for 10 for our original recipe. And Kelly has some hazelnuts in the oven and I am not sure how the hazelnuts are doing. I just roasting. checked, I just checked. Okay. I they, ate one and it's good. Okay, they're roasting, we're roasting them. Are we roasting them with anything on them no, or we're just, just like this? You can roast them with honey, you can roast them with oil, with, with, sea, oil, salt, with, with sea salt, with whatever you but want. But you really don't need it. But for this recipe, because this has some coconut in it, I feel like this creates a little bit more of like a sweetness. We also have the chocolate. I mean, it is really happening here. A few minutes later. If you are doing the quicker version, you will see right here, that it's already done. Look ah. at that. You know what, peanut butter looks really good in here. <laughs> Did you just put peanut butter in my hair? No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, you guys, so. Mm. Oh my God, it's good. Okay, last little bit. I'm gonna show you guys this in two seconds. I'm just Holy gonna... shit ball, look at this. It's like a little ice cream sandwich thingy. It tastes delicious. We have created some of the most amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, situations here mm. and this is we're going to move this around i'm going to shake it around a little bit so it goes in as such and it's not a thick situation it's about a quarter of an inch thick and it goes on top of that chocolate and this will go into the freezer for 10 minutes and we're starting the alarm that's 10 minutes on the clock boom and boom, boom. it goes in Thank you guys for joining us today on today's episode of The Kelly We're not Gallery, done. Marty Harper Show. We're doing the lead-ins. Hello. If you guys would like to know more of our recipes and tips, please subscribe below. Push your comments to us. We would love to know what you're thinking, and we would love to know what you would like for us to make or us to show you what to make. What he said. Make sure you guys clean up after yourselves. No, bad dog. We are... So right now we're going to be taking our peanut butter and we're going to create the sec the third layer. Truth or dare? Ah, uh, truth. What's the biggest lie you ever told? The biggest lie that I've ever told? Mm -hmm. Penis size. <laughs> so did you lie that it was smaller or bigger? Bigger. I don't know. Maybe that's not the biggest lie. I don't really know. I'm not really like, not really a liar. Were you like, it's... It's 11 inches long and it's really big. It's really fat. Truth or dare, Kelly? Um, truth. What is your, uh, what's your biggest fear about uh, on set? On set? Yeah. When I'm working? Yeah. That we're not going to be done in time for my workout? That is kind of one of her, her real moments, but I mean, kind of. A real fear? I don't know. What kind of fears? I don't have fears when I'm on set. 
Yeah, obviously we're really boring. No, that was live. <laughs> no, I, I was being honest. A fear when I'm on set is like, fuck, are we not going to be done in time for my workout? The biggest fear that I have um, is... On set? On set, which is currently on set of this production. Is <laughs> the kitchen. The amount of shows... I mean, I can say one other fear, but it's not really fear, it just, it gives me anxiety. If people are really, like, super dramatic and annoying, and, like, everyone is, I don't have that, if I don't have anything in common with anyone on set, and then everyone, you're, like, expected to be really into them. Yeah. And everything is, like, fantastic and major beautiful. and beautiful. Wow. I used to have a bunch of fears. I used to be scared that I wouldn't fit the clothes. I used to be scared of uh, other people judging me if I would eat at lunch. All these like, but now I don't care about that shit at all. Anymore. I think that's like over time you get to that place yeah. of like not having like your personal, it's like your personal moments of judgment. Mm -hmm. You think that everyone's doing that, but it's just you doing it to yourself? Well, a lot of times, like, girls have had things happen to them, which makes you feel that way. I have had a lot of times that I didn't fit the clothes, and then they would call the agency, and, you know, she's fat, and send me home. Yeah. That's, and, that's, that's hard. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. So then, like, you do, that becomes a fear that you're not going to fit the clothes. How do you get over that? Um, I don't know, just, now I couldn't care less anymore. Yeah. Um, but I mean, there's healthy ways of getting over it, and there's not healthy ways of getting over it. We're gonna get back to that. We'll get back to that, but. But in the meantime, we have another. Are you guys serious? We are literally killing the game right now. Killing it. Look at oh, that. Wow. That's so amazing. So the last and final step of this little creation, this is again, banana, chocolate, peanut butter, and more chocolate. Kelly's coming in for the last drop. Will you take the peel off of the hazelnuts? Like, you know, oh, like yeah. just to get them. 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 I'm sorry, Sweden. I love each and every one of you, but it is just so hard. We are now putting the chocolate on to the peanut butter. Okay, so we gnugga. Gnugga. So you guys, Kelly is basically shelling the entire song. You know what, for my preference, I would like these more roasted. So now you have all these like peels, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard to get away. So you want to step outside for a moment. You didn't do the best job of gnug getting. Excuse me? There's still so many left to gnug, yeah? How do you say gnug in English? You basically want to shell the hazel. You want to take Oh, that. rub. Gnug yeah. means rub. You want to step outside, close your eyes and go. Wait, find out which way the wind is blowing. Guys, this is obviously not the most professional way and most sanitary way of doing this part of the recipe because obviously her doing that is getting all her COVID breath on it. Are you roasting the hazelnuts more with your breath? <laughs> See, and now all the peel is gone. Fabulous. I mean, unsanitary, but hey. Back to this show. Actually, why don't you take them and put them in a bag so that it, you can chop, you can mash them up as such. Take this yeah. or, a, or a clean version of that and put it on top and then let's just like pound it Get up. It. Yeah, so that it mashes out. We don't want it to be chopped up. We need it to be actually a little bit more smashed. Ooh. Okay, let's, do it. let's, let's, let's cut keep those going a little, a little bit more. more. Any of the stuff that's going on the floor. Also, <laughs> we have vacuum cleaners right there. there. Beautiful. That goes in a pan. This shit stresses me out, but please don't do that at home. Yourself. Can you bring the pan closer? No. Oh, you just want to try. See. Meanwhile, droplets. We're gonna roast these up. We're just gonna let this sit for a moment because we need this to get brown. She's fucking so much salt. She loves salt, you guys. It's good for the water retention. <laughs> Trying to free up space on my phone. Is there dick pics in there? Of course there are. We're back in business, people. So this on. is the final part of it. 
this is like where you add the last little bit of hazelnut into the recipe. These were roasted, these were pan roasted. Let's just move this around. Ow, it's hot. Um, obviously she doesn't know that hot things are really dangerous to other people. You should probably chill out now. Okay, now we wanna push them in a little bit. Yeah, these are getting dampered into, stamped, stamped into the situation. And now, and if you use like a really um, dark chocolate, maybe for sweetness, you wanna put a little bit of coconut syrup on it, just maybe. So now you have this beautiful thing right here. Put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Come and then on. we will be back to show you how it turns out. Awesome, thank you. I'm gonna push stop on this one. I just want to say thank you guys for joining us today. I know it's really stressful watching Kelly cook, but that's why I'm here. So if you guys need me, go to my page and ask me questions and I'll give you the real answer. Okay. What's that, Marty? So what did we uh, come to the conclusion of, Marty? Currently, the conclusion is that we're done. And <laughs> that's it. Everything's in the uh, freezer and it's coagulating. It's taking a moment. It's the banana that is the part that's gonna take a little bit longer, but it looks beautiful. And tomorrow we're gonna be back to give you a little bit update on that. Kelly is really excited. Uh, if you can't tell by her facial expressions at current, we are currently also doing a with Kelly today. So she'll definitely give you a little tidbit of that in a the what? coming days. You're you remember? What? No. <laughs> Remember the stuff that you were practicing for? We can't for? tell anyone that. But it's no, a secret. the secret's out, Kelly. It's like, not we're, out. We're, we're cutting this. No, we're allowed that no, we're cutting it. it. Take two. Alrighty, so everything's in the freezer and it looks really beautiful. Kelly and I have <laughs> definitely learned uh, a couple of tricks about this recipe. It will be in the freezer for a little bit over 24 hours, probably 24 hours. Uh, just I don't so that think it, it will stay in there for that long. Well, I'm Max sure as well. soon as I leave Kelly's house, she will probably scavenge her way into the freezer <laughs> and squirrel her way through <laughs> the little snack. And the next thing you know, tomorrow you'll be like, where is the picture of it? And it's like, it's not there. Half of it might be there. Anyways, well, Kelly's going to go play tennis with her man and I'm going to go home to walk my dog, but we'll be back in the next 24 hours to show you the updated version of what happened on today's cooking show. Bye. Bye. Boom.